under the hot and humid September sun. Workers at the George Odlam Stadium are sweating profusely as they continue the task of removing the steel frame of what was left of the roof. The stadium has been doubling as the home of the St. Jude Hospital for 14 years after the original hospital building was destroyed by fire in 2009. The roof had been severely damaged by the elements over the years and there are concerns about safety hazard for both the patients and staff of the hospital. The Pierre government has contracted a local company to remove what's left of the roof. Well, the contract basically is to secure the area, remove the, um, the steel framing on the um, structure. As you see, all the benches have already been removed and placed in the um, scrapyard. The structure itself is going to be shipped across to India as scrap metal. Um, it's a three months project basically. We've been here a month and a half. In 2018, during the tenure of the then Alan Chastney administration, reports of fallen loose fiberglass sheeting from the structure provided fodder for talk shows and news headlines. Steps were taken in the summer of that year to remove the coverings with the steel frame yet to be dismantled years later, until now with the advent of the Philip J. Pierre executive at the helm. The removal of the roof has taken more than five years and two administrations, but the finished line appears near. We will probably finish up end of, I would say, end of October for the latest. It's more to secure the area, basically. Keep the place secure in case of hurricanes, strong winds. That's it, basically. How is it going so far? Oh, good. Good. It's, 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 it's on schedule. We're on schedule. Um, the issue that we have there is safety. I mean, we maintain our safety standards and keep the public safe. That's what it is. The aim, according to officials, to ensure the hospital at the stadium is safe from any possibility of falling debris and the patients and staff can breathe a sigh of relief. The removal of the roof is an important milestone in the transition to the new hospital building as the stadium has been plagued for years by occupational issues. Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre, who secured a $200 million loan from the Saudi fund, has has vowed to complete the over-decade-long construction project that has spanned four governments to date. Once the new building is finished, the hospital as an institution would be able to move out of the stadium and into a safe and modern facility. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.